Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the services in Angular 50. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the child route. In this video, we will see about the services. So if we talk about the services, something like services is basically a singleton object. It means like when you create your application or, or I, I will say like when you run your application, these services calls once during the lifetime of an application or a we can say the module. Every Angular service contain methods that always contain the data throughout the life of an application. So basically a services are the singleton object or a uh, module or the application. It is a mechanism to share the responsibility within one or multiple component. Now for an example, if you want to get the data from your API, so how we can do that? That particular like calling uh, the API that we can do using the services. Now from that services, we give the reference into the component and through that we can communicate or we can get the data. And Angular services is basically a function. So that we will see in a way like how we create those functions. It help us to maintain Code reusability means instead of using the same code again and again, we can create a service and wherever we need it, we can use that service in the component. And if we talk about the unit test of the services, it is very easy. The thing is like if we are going to call uh, any API, what we have to do, we have to import it the HTTP client. So in the coming videos, we will discuss about the HTTP client as well. Now what uh, like basically how we can create a service so if you want to create a service manually then what we have to do we, we have to create a one ts file and in that ts file what we have to do we have to import the uh, at the rate injectable decorator now if you don't want to uh, go basically with the uh, manually creation of the services then we can use the command called ng g services and instead of the service, we can use the S also and the service name. Now, basically, this at the rate injectable is uh, basically it is used to uh, use for the dependency injection. So, in the coming video, we will discuss in briefly what is the dependency injection as well. Now, once you done with the creating of your services, how it look like? So, basically. It import the injectable from at the rate core uh, angular core and we have a one class that is the export class the meaning of the export in the angular is basically a public so this is the export uh, class and if you create the manually oh sorry with the command then all these things is done manually automatically basically so we will see in a bit like how it created now this is a uh, like way of creating the services in angular 15 now if i want to use that service in the component then what we have to do first we have to use that service in the constructor and then we have to call that method so let's understand these services with an example in our visual studio code now what i will do first like uh, i will create a one service so let's create one service so ng gs and this service name I'm going to give as a Angular 15. So if I will give this Angular 15 like this, so what it will do, it will automatically add uh, the service. So S is basically indicate to the service. So now that service I'm going to use in the app component. So here you can see it create two files. One is the .ts file where the logic we write and another is the SPC file. It indicate the testing file. Now let's go on the browser. So here if you will see first, so here first we will see we have created the service and here you can see these are the file. If you will go on the service.ts file and you will see it is uh, taking one is the inject table and that is in, uh, like taking from the at the rate angular code and here we have one class that is angular 15 service. Now this is the service basically now next what i'm going to do here i'm going to create a one method and this method you can give anything like display message so this i'm going to do and what i'm going to write it will return like i am 
angular 15 surface so this is the way basically we write the methods inside the uh, servicing now here this method can we can call the api as well so that we will see uh, in the coming videos how we call the api using the dot net code so like currently uh, like what we have done we have created a message and we are returning this message so that is the first thing we have to remember another thing what we have to remember in the app module.ts file we have to give the provide providers so this is important thing whenever you are going to create any service that service name we have to give under this provider so let's give angular service so this uh, we have given here now we can use it under this app.module.ts file so now let's go on app module app.component.ts file here and what i'm going to do here i'm going to call this method and to call this method first what we have to do is basically we have to use that service so for that one like so constructor is the first place where it call and if we want to uh, inject anything like either router or any service so basically we have to call it under the constructor so here let's call so private and service and the service is basically angular 15 service now next thing what i'm going to do here i'm going to take the another place is basically ng on init so this method we have to call so it's nothing but there is a life cycle of angular 15 like uh, how angular not angular 15 is basically angular application first it called the constructor then another method it called the ng on init if you want to implement the same thing in the constructor yes we can do that also so in the ng on init now what i'm going to do i'm going to take one variable here and that is the display message and i'm going to take it as a string and i'm going to define it as a empty now in this what i'm going to do this dot display message and this i'm going to take this dot services dot display message so that i'm uh, going to take in this local variable now in the html side what i'm going to do i'm going to take a one paragraph and inside this one what i'm going to show using the interpolation i'm going to show this local message and let's give style as color red so we can see it as expected so now let's save it and go on the browser and if you will see like first page so let's remove it if you will go on the default first page you can see i'm angular 15 service so this is the way we are uh, we can create the services and how like the basically we can call the angular 15 application so what we do first we create the uh, service that is the command ng gs and the service name so it look like this then we create the method as expected you are looking you can create that method then in the app.module.ts we have to define it under the providers so here we have to define it and next thing if any component where you want to use that particular service so first we have to give in under the services like in the constructor we have to call that and then through that we have to call that method and then whatever you are looking at the service you can do so this is the way of creating the service and use of that service in angular 50 so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you